Most grounds in a restaurant's grease trap. And next, a pregnant woman is hit with her own car after it's stolen. On the scene, on the story, News 9 starts now. A woman eight months pregnant is carjacked and then hit by her own car. Police said it happened this afternoon near Will Rogers Parkway and Meridian. Our Steve Shaw tells us what else police are now saying. Judging from the surveillance video that is disturbing, police have plenty to go on. This is why you should never leave your vehicle running or your doors unlocked when you pull up to a convenience store or any store for that matter. But that's exactly what this poor woman, who police say is eight months pregnant, did just after one Friday afternoon at the Midwest Party Quick Shop near Will Rogers Parkway and Meridian. Shortly after the victim exited her car and walked into the store, another woman wearing black and carrying some sort of backpack casually got in the car and after literally running over the victim, got away. Right now, there's not a definitive suspect uh, description. Hopefully, we will have more later as this case is still very new. But... The victim was transported here to Integra's Baptist Medical Center with a broken leg. It's terrible. It's scary. That's why I don't go anywhere without my husband. Karen Shaw, her husband Corey, and son Jesse were shopping nearby when they heard the news. It ran over a pregnant woman. He's a scum. And I, I hope she's all right, and I hope God stays with her. I've lived in this city my whole life, and I've, you know, seen a lot of stuff like that. Really? I hope that she's okay, and all I can, you know, pray for her. That's all I can say, and, you know, hope that her baby's okay. and. She gets better. Police say the stolen vehicle is a 2005 black Malibu. On the scene, on the story outside police headquarters, Steve Shaw, News 9. We're all thinking about that baby tonight. All right, Steve, thank you. The Oklahoma Education Association unveils its own plan today to fund its demand for teacher pay. It includes an increase in the gasoline and tobacco tax, an alcohol tax, changes in income tax deductions, and an increase from 2% on the gross production tax to 5%. The list is basically a collection of ideas from several recently failed plans. Oklahomans are tired of the blame game. They're tired of the House blaming the Senate and the Senate blaming the House. They're tired of Democrats blaming Republicans and Republicans blaming Democrats. The OEA says the plan would pay for a $6,000 raise for teachers this year, plus raises for support staff and state workers. Now, the Oklahoma Council on Public Affairs released a statement saying while it's for teacher pay raises, some of the proposed tax increases, particularly the income tax hikes, would damage our state's competitiveness for years to come. Others would fail to bring in the predicted revenues, guaranteeing future budget shortfalls. The potential walkout is only 10 days away. You can stay up to date by opting in for notifications on the News 9 app. We are getting a look at the moments officers caught up with a high-speed chase suspect. This started in Oklahoma City and ended in Moore inside Winco Foods on 19th Street. Officers ran through every aisle before Michael Shields finally laid down. Stop resisting! I'm not resisting. Why? Stupid. Put all those people in jeopardy. The 38-year-old has prior arrests in multiple counties. We're learning more about the criminal history of another chase suspect. George Hanna has convictions all over Oklahoma going back to 1997. Police say earlier this morning he rammed an Oklahoma City police cruiser near the 25th Street Bridge over I-35. He was finally caught near 62nd Street. A Norman man reportedly swipes an SUV while the driver is delivering pizza, and now he run, he's running from police. Well, new at 10, our Christy Lewis spoke to that driver about her crazy night. This guy was the focus of quite the manhunt last night. Noble police officers, Cleveland County Sheriff's deputies, and a light horse canine all worked together to track him. Police say 22-year-old Remington Tyler first tried to steal a vehicle at Terry's Market in Noble, but that didn't work out. Then investigators say he spotted this one in a neighborhood nearby. It's Lacey McIntosh's SUV. She works at a local pizza place. It's a normal shift, normal night. And Thursday night, she went up to a door to make a delivery. And then all of a sudden, in the drop of a dime, my car is gone. Police say Tyler took her SUV, reportedly leaving the glowing topper in place. I was panicking and 
I, I started shaking immediately. And then Lacey and the customer went to chase after it. And we get in his new truck. The customer. The customer. It was insane. I'm telling you, straight out of a movie. She yeah. says they catch up to the car and call police. Tyler hits a dead end and takes off running. But authorities from three agencies canvass the area and a canine finds him. An affidavit says he was lying in the back of someone's truck with a camper shell on it. He acted like he was asleep uh, when uh, officers and, and deputies confronted him. Lacey is so thankful for the customer who didn't hesitate to help her. He's literally guardian angel and she's happy to have her SUV back. I lived out of my car for a month, actually, in January, and I just moved into my apartment, and, and everything in my life was getting back in order, which is why I think I reacted the way I did, you know? And in an interview with police, Tyler admitted to all of this. Investigators say that night he had also broken into several other vehicles and taken credit cards and driver's licenses. Christy Lewis, News 9. All right, Christy, thank you. A man accused of scamming at least 15 people out of nearly $40,000 confesses to the crime. Detectives in Caddo County say Dusty Treadaway Jr. posed as a hunting guide, took deposits, but did not show up. There is an active arrest warrant for him tonight. Two people are dead after a fire ignites down in Lawton. A man next door heard the explosion and tried to help out. He says the front doorway was already engulfed in flames, so he ran to the back. Tried to get in the back door. It was blocked. Uh, tried to kick it in. It wouldn't move. Got the door kicked in. It just had something in the doorway blocking it. Both victims were found in the bedroom. Right now, there's no word on what started this fire. A broken arrow man accused of taking pictures up a woman's skirt at a Walmart is now behind bars. James Bobbitt told police his wife was out of town and he was lonely. The victim says that she chased after him after he tried to run into a restroom. I um, got in front of him and put my hand on his shirt um, as stop. And um, he said, I don't have the picture anymore. I'm sorry. And I said, it's too bad you're not going anywhere. Some good Samaritans followed him to the parking lot, shot video, and got his tag number. Bobbitt is in the Tulsa County Jail on a felony complaint. President Trump signs a more than $1 trillion spending bill, but he's not happy about it. He threatened a veto before deciding against it, saying he is moving forward in order to take care of our military. I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. Nobody read it. It's only hours old. Some people don't even know what it is. $1.3 trillion. It's the second largest ever. Oklahoma's all-Republican congressional delegation was evenly split on the spending bill. Representatives Cole and Lucas and Senator Inhofe voted yes. Representatives Russell and Mullen and Senator Langford voted no. Congressman Bridenstine did not vote. Russell supports the defense spending in the bill, but says otherwise it contains too much waste. It got so larded up that I, I just did not feel getting a 2,300-page bill at 9.30 at night and being expected to vote on it, you know, the next morning. Uh, it was impossible to go through it. Russell says all Americans share the blame for continuing to grow the national debt. Students across the nation are gearing up to march against gun violence. The events are in response to the school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. Students say they are done waiting for changes and they are ready to make it happen. I hope a new law gets passed that limits the rights of the age that someone can purchase a rifle because it will help prevent a lot more massacres. The march here in OKC is planned for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Students from across the state will march from the Oklahoma County Election Board to the state capitol. Three people are dead and 16 injured in a terrorist attack in southern France. French officials say a gun-wielding extremist shouted Allah Akbar and claimed he was a soldier of the Islamic State as he stormed a supermarket and began taking hostages. Police eventually went in and killed the man. A woman close to the gunman is in custody. Severe storms are possible this weekend. We talk about the timing coming up. Ahead on News 9, the fight for your right to disconnect from work emails and texts went off the job. And next. I didn't know what to think. I was like, I don't want to die.
A child falls into a grease trap at an Oklahoma Panera Bread. The quick rescue. The education crisis is boiling over. If it comes down to it, we will close down schools and we will march at the Capitol. A statewide shutdown is looming and the impact will be felt. How will students finish the year? What about child care? Will there be pay raises? We'll pay for them. How do we get here and where could this lead? Join us for an in-depth analysis. Educate Oklahoma, a special live broadcast, Monday, April 2nd, presented by Volkswagen of Edmond and News 9. David Stanley, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Midwest City. Dollar down days. Oh, too much on that old ride? One dollar down could get you out of any loan or lease and into a new Chrysler, Jeep, or Dodge. Like one dollar down on a new Wrangler with 6,000 off MSRP. Dollar down days. And every new vehicle comes with engines for life and no payments for 90 days. Dollar down days. Going on right now at David Stanley, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge. Across from Tinker in Midwest City. DavidStanleyDodge.com. Ram Truck Month. It's the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on now at Hudeberg Subaru. There's a lot to love with these prices. Get a new 2018 Subaru Forester for only $23,114 or lease one for $245 a month with complimentary maintenance included. Now that's a lot of love. Hudeberg Subaru of I-240 and Shields or click HudebergSubaru.com. Soon you'll say you love your Hudeberg Subaru too. Get Building a quality, luxurious, and affordable home is not a DIY kind of thing. Let Richardson Homes, the family who's built the most and the very best, build your family's home. I'd introduce myself, but this isn't about me, James Hinchcliffe, famous Indy car driver. It's about the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event, where all your Honda dreams can come true. Check out the CRV, Motor Trend's SUV of the year, and the HRV. Both have style for the city and ground clearance for the country. Ah, the garage life. The Honda Dream Garage Spring Event is on now. Visit your local Honda dealer today to check out 2018's best SUV brand. If you're anything like Bob, you know hidden fees can stack up, which is why Bob makes the smart choice. Air comfort solutions for all of his air conditioning, heating, plumbing, and electrical needs. With air comfort solutions, Bob gets upfront pricing with no surprise fees, babe. Make the winning call to Air Comfort Solutions, your complete home solution. Buying a car can be overwhelming. You scour the reviews. You browse faceless national chains and nameless local dealers. So many options, so many decisions. Where do you start? Simple, bobmore.com. Browse our 18 brands and Oklahoma's largest inventory online. Then seal the deal at one of our 14 locations. With our unwavering commitment and homegrown charm, you're sure to get an experience like no other. Experience the exception at BobMoore.com. Respectfully, Bob Moore. Lacey Lowry and Robin Marsh back together on News 9 this morning. On the scene, on the story, this is News 9. An Oklahoma father and daughter are reliving a terrifying scene tonight that played out inside a Panera Bread in Tulsa. The five-year-old fell into a grease trap, and her dad's quick thinking may have saved her life. News 9's Ashley Izbicki is on the story. It is a parent's worst nightmare. The father turned around and his little girl was gone. Panera says the company that services the grease traps was just there on Monday. And get this, crews did not screw the lids back on. I was almost to the door, but then I heard a thud where the, the lid went back on top of it. In a matter of seconds, James Rogers, five-year-old, was trapped. I didn't know what to expect, and I flipped the lid back, and all I could see, a little blue bow, I could see that floating in her hair at the top. I didn't know what to think. I was like, I don't want to die. I got on my belly, and it was probably up to almost my waist, reaching down and was just able to grab her arm and somehow, somehow got her out. I was like, I'm glad I'm saved. Panera Bread says its grease traps are inspected and serviced every three to four months. Most recently, just three days before Bristol Rogers fell in. There are three different screws on the top that have to be secured. Um, and from what we found, they were just set on there. Brooks Grease Services admits the crew didn't screw the lid back in on Monday. It claims these plastic lids are flimsy and less safe than metal covers that are more commonly used. There's no excuses. You better make sure that you <laughs> secure those before you 
before you leave. Rogers filed a report with the health department. Food Protective Services says it will investigate, and so is Panera. Because they service so many cafes in the area, uh, we're internally performing an inspection of all of the grease triplets to ensure the safety of our guests. I don't want this to happen to another little kid. I know it's a freak accident and all of that, but it, it happened. The division chief of Food Protection Services says in her 34 years on the job, she has never heard of someone falling into a grease trap. Ashley Isbicki, News 9. How scary for that five-year-old. Wow. All right, now to consumer alert, a new bill would give workers the right to disconnect from their jobs. The legislation considered in New York says employers cannot require employees to check email or text messages after hours. Businesses caught retaliating against workers who don't respond after hours would be fined. Now, experts say that bill simply won't work. A law like this um, doesn't understand how business operates in 2018. A lot of businesses have to operate around the clock. A recent study found that workers spend about eight hours a week sending emails after work. The federal government and wireless carriers are taking steps to stop those annoying robocalls. Tech company Haya says consumers received 18 billion calls in 2017. The FCC has proposed more than $200 million in fines against telemarketers for illegal spoofing. If you have a Toys R Us gift card or coupons, you need to go out and spend them before April 20th because the toy store is closing due to facing billions in debt and online competition. The company is clearing out all inventory with big sales as it prepares to close all stores by June. And now your weather from News 9. It was definitely a warm, windy, and dry day. Unfortunately, we did have a really big fire. That was about 10 miles west of Slapout earlier this evening. That was in the panhandle. There's the retardant that plane is actually dropping. It looks really pretty, but yeah, definitely doing a job. And it, it definitely took a house as well. The good news is we reported that there was no occupants in there. It was an unoccupied home, but it was a complete loss, unfortunately. But both Val, Amy, and Marty Logan, they were all over it. And uh, it looks like that fire is now completely contained, so they got a really good handle on it. So let's go to computer. Yeah, it was very warm and very windy, especially out in the Panhandle where it's been several months since they've had at least a quarter of an inch of rain. In fact, we ended up with a high today of 92 degrees in Guymon, 91 in Woodward, 79 though here in Oklahoma City. It is still breezy out there obviously right now. This is our tower camera, part of our air covered sky cam network. Not as warm, but still mild. 66 degrees. We've got a south wind sustained at 19 miles an hour. We're currently sitting at 68 in Miami. 70 in Alva, 69 degrees in Clinton, and 68 down in Ada. But we've also got a south wind still between about 15 to as much as around 30 miles an hour, even here in Oklahoma County. It will stay breezy overnight and into tomorrow. So here's the big picture. We've got this ridge of high pressure finally moving off to the east. This is the storm system responsible for the very windy weather earlier today and the breezy weather going on right now. This cold front's going to come through later on tonight into tomorrow morning. It's going to take some time, but there's no moisture with it. Where is our moisture? Well, right now it's moving on to the West Coast. You can see that spin there out in the Pacific. That is going to be the energy that sends several waves of energy our way once we get into later in the weekend and into early next week. So here's the first storm system. It's going to come through overnight into tomorrow morning. Behind it, we're expecting a north wind, still between about 10 to as much as around 25 miles an hour at times. We're looking for partly cloudy skies tomorrow. On Sunday, we're going to have showers and storms move out of Texas into south central Oklahoma. Right now, the coverage does not look great, but it is still certainly a possibility. Later in the afternoon, I think we're going to see a few more showers and storms. Better chances will stay south and east of Oklahoma City unfortunately exactly where we don't necessarily need all the rain and this is going to kind of continue to be the case for the next few days after that we're going to continue to see several waves move in the next will be Monday night into early Tuesday but most of that rain staying in southeast Oklahoma so for tonight the cold front's going to come through temperatures eventually drop down into the middle 50s tomorrow temperatures in the middle 70s this time a north wind between 10 to 20 a little bit more breezy at times though out west and of course it's obviously going to be very dry out there once again so the fire threat will be high to a extreme, especially in western Oklahoma. By Sunday morning, there is a slight chance of showers and storms basically from the north to the south in central and western Oklahoma. During the day, temperatures won't be as warm, but still mild in the upper 60s because I expect to see a lot more cloud cover later in the day and obviously 
a chance of showers and storms. So we do have that chance of showers and storms later in the afternoon, but those better chances will stay just to our south and to our east. Once those storms get going later in the afternoon, there is a low threat that some of those storms could become severe. Those threats right now would be 65 mile an hour wind gust and up to quarter size hell. But of course, our trackers will be out and we'll be able to fine tune that for you with the timing as we get closer and closer to the actual event. Of course, we need to see the moisture, but we're not expecting a whole lot. Unfortunately, Oklahoma City, not expecting a whole lot out of this. Definitely less than a tenth of an inch, but we could actually see over an inch, maybe a couple of inches in parts of southeast Oklahoma by the time we get up Monday morning. But we have more chances of seeing rain once we get into early next week. It's not just Sunday, it's not just Monday, but it's also Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Right now, the best chance for Oklahoma City looks to be on Tuesday. Notice temperatures begin to fall behind that, but that doesn't last long. It looks like for Easter weekend, it looks absolutely beautiful with temperatures near 80 degrees. So get out there tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. If you have any outdoor plans this weekend, tomorrow's your best day. All right, Cassie, thank you. Hey, folks, the Friday Sports Split starts right now with Lee Benson. Driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, this is the Friday Sports Split. Well, it was a long two-day wait for the Thunder after blowing that late lead to Boston Tuesday night. Another Eastern Conference opponent Friday at the peak, OKC's first look at the heat this season. Steven Adams taking advantage of Miami big man Hassan Whiteside missing his seventh straight game. Second quarter, Adams gets the feed from Russell Westbrook and does the rest. 24 and 12 for Adams. Thunder up four at the break to the fourth. OKC up five. Westbrook the artistic drive to the hoop. And he shows you how he did it yet again. Then a couple minutes later, the three ball off a punishing screen you saw there from Paul George. Thunder up by four, only three of 16 for George. The PG ices the game in the final minute. Takes the ball from Dwayne Wade, takes it in for the basket plus the foul. Russ leads everybody with 29. Thunder wins 105-99. Steve McGee has the story from Chesapeake. For three quarters, we'll call it a so-so performance for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Defensively, not bad in the first quarter, holding Miami to 18 first quarter points, but Oklahoma City struggles to score in the second and third quarter, combining for 40 points. Down to entering the fourth veteran, Raymond Felton kickstarted the Thunder offense. This three-point play put them in front 74-71 and in front the rest of the way. I'm just taking what's there. Uh, just, you know, sometimes, you know, we need a spark. Sometimes we need to be aggressive and just try to change the game. And sometimes I just got to figure out a way to do it, whether it's on defense or whether tonight is offensively and at times defense. Russ hit the go button the fourth quarter, scoring 17 points, much needed since PG and Mello had tough shooting nights. Oklahoma City ends up scoring 41 points in the fourth quarter. A guy at his level is always ready for the moment. You can just sense, you know, how and when to, uh, you know, really take charge. And, and it's just one of the most um, explosive uh, and, and, you know, unique players I've ever played with. At 44 and 30, Oklahoma City will go for their sixth win in a row at home when Portland comes to town for the very first time this Sunday night at 6 o'clock. On the scene, on the story, from the peak, Steve McGeehee, News 9 Sports. Thanks, Steve. And the Thunder just a game back now of the Blazers for the three seed. A loud first career home run by a local baseball player. That's next. David Stanley Chevrolet. Extreme Truck Month. New 2018 Colorado under 20 grand. Only at David Stanley Chevrolet at OKC. Buy a new Silverado. 12,000 off MSRP. That's 12,000 off. Or use your tax refund for your down payment. Extreme Truck Month savings. Silverado. 12,000 off. Colorado under 20 grand. David Stanley Chevy on I-240 and OKC. Where everybody rides with approved credit. DavidStanleyChevrolet.com. Want to save money? Need a cheaper payment? Are you ready to boost that credit score? It's the Edmund Hyundai Credit Repair Program, and it's helping people all over Oklahoma. During the Hyundai Season and More event at Edmund Hyundai, save on this 2018 Elantra SE, only $149 per month. Every new Hyundai comes with America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles, and Hyundai Assurance. And the Edmund Hyundai Promise. Engines for life. Oil changes for three years. Complimentary car washes and more. Don't wait one minute longer. Visit Edmund Hyundai at Broadway Extension and Memorial Road or online at edmundhyundai.com. Why go anywhere else? Fowler Toyota has had huge sales events, shattering sales records, and saving you a ton of money. But this is the one. Ready, set, go. 